Welcome back to the channel everyone. Now Android 11, the developer beta actually came out today and I wanna hit on some of the cooler features of it. It's still super early, there's going to be tons of problems with it and everything, but we do know some of the cool little minor features that are added, so I just wanna hit on them. Now I will say that I tried to install it on my Google Pixel 2 and my Google Pixel 2 Excel and the process of it for some reason I wasn't able to do it, but I didn't wanna leave you guys hanging, so I did install the emulator that's running Android all right now. So I guess that's better than nothing. So I can showcase some of the cool little features, I guess. Now there's huge improvements in messaging. And I think one of the cooler things about this is that if you know with iOS and iOS 13, you can quickly reply within messages, do the notification pin and everything. But now you can see multiple messages behind that as well, which is really cool. And a slight other cool little things within messaging as well. Another humongous cool little thing within Android 11 is that we can do one-time permissions. So if an app is requesting your location, instead of doing yes or no or don't allow or please allow or whatever, we can now do a one-time allow so it'll just use that your location or whatever for that time being and it won't be like an indefinite thing or it won't be a non-thing. You can just allow it one time and then go for it, which I think is really, really cool and kind of shows Google and Android's kind of trying to take security more seriously and I think it's a huge step in the right direction. Now the whole entire Android 11 is going to be surfaced and focused on foldable screens as well. So not only the vertical, you know, way we look at things now, but also foldable technology and Android 10 kind of hinted at it, but now I think Android 11 is going to take it to the next level, which is going to be really cool. And especially I just came off owning the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip and I still own it. I think it's an interesting device for sure, but hopefully software at some point can become better and maybe Android 11 will help ease things out. Who knows? Now the Pixel 4 actually gets a really really cool feature which if you guys know the Pixel 4 had those gestures that you can do the motion gestures where you can switch songs and all that stuff but now we actually have the ability within Android 11 to play and pause songs with using your motion gestures which is really cool and I honestly you know I'd be surprised if anybody still uses motion gestures but it's a really cool thing that we do have that capability now which is awesome. Another super cool thing for developers specifically, I don't really think anybody else besides developers are going to get a kick out of this, but you'll be able to see the refresh rate on your display screen on your specific phone. So this is huge for developers. If you want to test your apps for certain refresh rates, you can do that. If you just want to see numbers on your screen to see, you know, whether you're on 90 hertz, 60 hertz, or 120, I guess you can use this phone's display to do that. So that's also a super cool thing that you're going to be able to do on Android R or Android 11, or whatever it's called. Another super cool thing that I think a lot of people are going to like is the ability to have systematic dark mode so this will mean that when it's light outside it'll automatically turn light mode on so dark mode will turn off and then when it gets darker it'll go ahead and turn dark mode on so it's systematic I think that's really cool and it's just automatic you just keep your hands off it'll automatically adjust by itself and I think that's really really cool now the last little thing and this isn't the last feature of all these are just some major things that I saw the Bluetooth will actually stay connected even when you turn on airplane mode so usually even with iOS when you turn on airplane mode, it turns off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but now it'll turn off Wi-Fi, turn off cell signal, but it'll keep your Bluetooth connected, which is cool. And if you're listening to music or something like that, you'll still be connected on there, which it won't disconnect or anything like that. Now, those are some of the major changes that I've been able to see and read from other people. Again, if I see anything else or anything like that, I'll let you guys know in the comment section below or in a whole different video, but that is pretty much it. If you have any other things that you find within Android 11, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make an updated video at some point. Hit that like button if you guys enjoy the video, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.